A typical day always starts with getting the centrifuge ready. We did that this morning. There's like a four page checklist to go through and check different systems, make sure everything's functioning properly. Get the centrifuge ready to go. You can get the schedule to see what configuration we're in. If we're doing a research study, what particular subject's coming in to get it ready for that person. And just being ready when the subject arrives. The centrifuge exposes pilots to G-forces and it allows students to prepare themselves for high gravity environments. And so inside the control room, we have a data station who's basically recording the tape and making sure all the data is collected. We have an operator who sets the limits of the centrifuge and we have a lecturer who's basically coaching the student through. We have an APO or medical that's on the side to make sure they're monitoring EKG, to make sure their heart rate or anything doesn't look unsafe with their heart and make sure that there's another set of eyes on them to make sure everything is safe. We can do positive pressure breathing in there. We can change the configuration to match any kind of aircraft uh, available. We can do space training in there because we can lay people flat on the floor. We've trained 132 astronauts over the years, especially during the shuttle missions. So my best description of it is a big old metal box. The walls of it is about six inches thick all the way around. What we do, we suck the air out of it to simulate going in the altitude. So as you go up in the altitude, there's a decrease in barometric pressure, so the pressure decreases. And the way we create that pressure decrease is sucking the air out of that metal box that we have people in. So you get all the effects of flying, just like on commercial flights, your ears and stuff popping and clicking. And the idea, the concept of that is to reduce the incident of decompression sickness. We expose subjects, students, or whomever to low barometric pressure, introduce them to the hazards, and make sure they are aware of what those are, and so they can correct for them.